Mr. Tidwell, Tidwell, we're ready to resume. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, I think that when we took a break, we were talking about the uh, the spanking procedures and what took place in the White House, and I'd like to resume uh, talking about that. When the, when the boys will be taken to the White House, what were they wearing? That depends. And on what? If they were wrong. If you were working on a crew, you'd have your clothes on. Sometimes if uh, the situation arises in a cottage at night, where if a boy was spanked, he would be in his pajamas. Uh, if they were brought there wearing clothes from work, uh, before they would be spanked, were they required to drop their pants? Never. Okay, so the, the boys that came from work would be spanked face down on the bed wearing their pants, correct? Right. And the boys that came from the cottages at night would be wearing their pajama bottoms. Yes. And, of course, briefs underneath. Now, uh, do you remember the names of any of the boys that you spanked? I would really have to think hard to remember. But it's not that easy for me anymore to remember. Do you remember the names of any of the other uh, employees of the school who were with you uh, and either spanked boys in your presence or witnessed you spanking boys? The director had Anybody else? No. When you would spank the boys, uh, uh, describe for us what kind of swing you would take with that leather strap that you described for us? Well, I mean, with one hand, I'd bring this strap back this way. All right. And come down. So it, it would, toward your your shoulder yeah. with your right hand, yes. you wouldn't take a full no. swing and no. maybe even nick the ceiling and come down and... That would be somebody else that would use a different than I did. You didn't ever take a full swing in beating the boys? No. Did others? Did Mr. Hatton? Well, the tall people, you know, that uh, spanked them, and they held the strap up like this, you know, and come down. They held the strap straight over their head and came down? Well, the left hand would be holding the end of the strap, and the right hand, you know, with the handle, and when they come down, that about that much of the strap would go on one side of the buttocks here. Did you ever see anybody take a full swing like they were going to no. uh, go over there and slam down on well, these boys? That's the only way I saw it was a tall Mr. Hatton or Mr. Mitchell holding the strap up like this. So you saw Mr. Hatton and Mr. Mitchell hit boys with the strap? Oh yeah. Not Mr. Mitchell a lot of times, just a few times with him, but Mr. Hatton and I was usually together at the time. How would you decide whether it would be you or Mr. Hatton that would... Uh... That would be up to him if he asked me to do it or told me to do it. That's when I strap, uh, use the strap. We've heard about a fan that was in the White House, that when boys were being spanked, a fan would be turned on. Do you remember that fan? Where's the picture of the, uh, they call the White House, or the ice cream factory? Uh, I'm going to give you Exhibit B. When that fan was turned on, it was in the summertime to get ventilation. All right. That's Never. the only reason that I know that the fan was turned on. Uh, was it loud? Well, like an attic fan. Uh, if the fan was running, uh, could the voices of boys yelling out be heard in the dining hall across the... Uh, I wouldn't the, think so. How about if the fan wasn't running? Well, I wouldn't think so. Why? I, I don't. I didn't experience all this hollering and carrying on like you have got the information from. 
why would mr middleton and hundreds of boys make something up like that do you have any idea object to yeah. one well that's the same question four times wait it's argumentative and you just keep going i can give you a reason why i think they're doing that but he said he doesn't know and you keep asking the same question all right you through depends i'll wait till you ask your next question any reason for running the fan other than ventilation when it was hot Not to summer. my knowledge did they run it in the winter time when boys were spanked i don't remember having that fan on in the winter time let's jump back for a minute if you would to the reasons that the, the reasons that they spanked boys when you were there did they ever spank boys for getting bad grades i don't recall that happening you know because that would be uh uh to the school principal bad grades bad grades no never no no i don't know of any time that that happened it, you never participated no. in spanking someone for bad grades no. and did you always know what the uh, you didn't spank a boy for his bad grades that wouldn't be right would well it? you know the writing system that's where it comes in so so you never spanked anybody for bad grades no. how would how would you know uh why a boy was being spanked why would i know how would you know why would i know that a boy's how would you know the reason that a boy was being spanked if they weren't being disciplined for something that that you had written them up about if that person who writes a report and hands it into the director me I, like i've said before the director makes a decision as to whether a boy gets a spanking or not now is that uh does that cover your question i don't think so i understand okay. the director would make the decision yeah but if the director came to you and said uh mr tidwell we have a boy to be spanked here uh would you always know why the boy was being spanked i'd have to know yeah how would you learn that by the report by the written report yes sir